Whoa, 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 whoa. In the last video, this car made an obscene amount of horsepower on its high boost tune. If you are here watching this video and you haven't seen that video, you are gonna have to go watch that video right after this one. Mikey Speck and Rudd's Racing put in work on the dyno. The car is on a brand new Precision 5858 Turbo. And today we are going to be taking it out for some test rips right after we install some brand new Hasport torque mounts. <laughs> Torque mounts are designed to prevent wheel hop in your car. This is gonna be a massive issue that we're gonna be battling at the drag strip, keeping the wheels on the ground and putting the power down where it's supposed to. These torque mounts should help a lot with that and we're gonna test them out today. In order to install them, I had to modify the exhaust, drill out some stupid little frame lumps, modify my bumper and bolt them up. Today's video is an exciting one. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video and check out YouTube memberships because the next video is already live and it involves installing a brand new product from my friends over at Acuity onto my eighth gen Civic Si. That video is live for members. With that said, let's get started. Welcome back to another video guys. I'm on my way over to Mark Strop 1.6 because today we're gonna be modifying my exhaust once again in order to get torque mounts to fit. In the last video, this car got tuned by Mikey Speck and Rudd's Racing. The car made 330-ish wheel horsepower on low boost and 455 wheel horsepower on high boost. 455 wheel is quite a bit of power and in order to prevent the car from wheel hopping even more, we already have the traction bar, but now I am installing torque mounts. If you're unfamiliar with torque mounts, I'm gonna show them to you in just a second. I know it's really, really bumpy in this car, so I'm gonna stop filming in here and I'll talk to you guys once we get to where we're going. got 3% battery left in my camera, but this is the last weld that I'm gonna have to make, I think. Should be right here. This is gonna position the exhaust exactly where we want it. It's gonna give just enough room for the torque mount. I'm gonna weld this up and then I will see you guys back over at the garage. Also, don't even begin to comment on how bad my welding job is on this. It's, dude, I suck at welding. I never weld. Kearney came through with all the food. We're gonna be making dinner here tonight. Pretty excited. I, Kearney gave me a cutting board to bring over here because we have some cutting to do, some chopping. Did you bring a knife? Yeah. All right. We're cooking with only an air fryer, a microwave, and a rice cooker. Joanna Gaines recipe. From? From, what's it called? I know I'm saying what's that show called. Uh, oh, Fixer Upper. Fixer Upper. Right, 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 right. While Kearney starts getting things ready to cook, I am going to be installing that torque mount finally. I'm gonna show you guys the exhaust modification. There is one small downside to the things that I did today to the exhaust, and that is, well, two downsides actually. In order to install and uninstall the exhaust now, I have to remove the driver's tire. The good thing is we are gonna have plenty of room for that torque mount, it goes right there. As you can see, bolt hole access, easy. 
even with the exhaust in. The only other major con here is that I am gonna have to make the hole in the side of the bumper even bigger because now the exhaust is sitting in a new location and it no longer fits with the bumper. So basically making an exhaust block off plate is going to be a mandatory before we leave for Florida, just purely for aesthetic purposes. All right, so what I gotta do here is right down here, Hasport mounts are not machined to accommodate for this like lump. So there's one weld here, there's one weld over here. I gotta drill out those welds and then basically pry this thing off. Then I gotta chase these threads with a tap because they're very rusty and very corroded. Once that's done, then I can loosely bolt on the torque mount to the chassis, the compressor bracket. Oh, I had to modify, I don't think I showed you guys, I had to modify the compressor bracket too. I basically cut off the bottom left half of it and uh, this should work, this should work nicely. I should probably test fit that to make sure that the exhaust clears. I was test fitting it a little bit over at Mark's and it seemed to be fine clearance wise, but I should, I should definitely check and I should also see if I have bolts for that. I don't know if I do. As you can see, I removed that lump that's on the frame rail. It's annoying that this is even there, but basically I just used a small drill bit to start a hole in each weld. I went all the way through the frame with it, and then I came through with a giant stepped bit on my drill, and I just absolutely cranked through it. It did take quite a bit of effort, and it was a huge pain in the ass to do, but both torque mounts are installed. Now that they're installed, it's late. I don't, obviously I don't have a headlight in. I could throw a headlight in, but then I wouldn't have the intake and then my tune would be off. Long story short, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and then we're gonna take this car out for a test trip. See how it feels with the torque mounts, traction bar, new tune, intake, modified exhaust. Guys, there's so many changes that have been made to this car. It's so awesome. We're gonna take it out for a rip tomorrow. Oh, Precision 5858, how could I forget? New turb ski, some, some first test hits. I haven't really done a, done a full pull on this thing yet, so we'll see. Dinner was delicious. Thank you, Kearney. Good night, see you tomorrow. Morning guys, Kearney and I spent the night here at the garage, we watched Yellowstone. And the cool thing is, now I'm waking up and I can get right back to work. <laughs> the last thing that I have to do on the EG before we can take it out for a test trip, which we're gonna do in just a moment, is I have to enlarge the hole in the bumper. Yes, if it wasn't already a large enough hole, it's about to get bigger. With modifying the exhaust, it changed the location of where it exits, and now exits like somewhere here. I'm gonna go ahead and get my angle grinder out and just start grinding away at the bumper until there's enough space to fit it on the car. Once it's on, just gotta reinstall the intake and then we can take this thing out for a little rip. I'm actually gonna be driving this car home right now and this is gonna be the first time this car has been home since I brought it over here, I think, or maybe like the second time ever since I brought it over here. And it's funny cause you know, I've just been dailying the eighth gen for the longest time now. And it's been awesome. It has been so comfortable, it's been so fun. But it's a beautiful Saturday today. It's supposed to be like 43 degrees outside in February. Sunny, blue skies, as you can see. And it kind of seems like the perfect day for a weekend cruise. So let me get this bumper thrown on. Let me get the intake reinstalled. And then I will see you guys when we're taking a little rip.
On the way home, I'm gonna stick the GoPro in my mouth again and give you guys a first person perspective hard pull. I'm gonna have like one good road to do it on, maybe two. We're gonna try low boost first. If low boost feels totally fine, totally good, everything's smooth, we'll try high boost. I don't know if I'll redline it in high boost, but I'll try to get into it for sure and see what happens. All right, we might get a rip here. That's even with the like kind of wonky low boost tune. Mikey sent me a revised copy of that exact tune and it allegedly is a lot smoother. So I'm excited to try that out if this was that smooth, holy smokes. This next road is where I think we might get high boost but we have a Honda Odyssey in front of us and a Honda Odyssey behind us. I don't know if we'll get it. zero zero wheel hop just spin just clean tire spinning no wheel hop that's exactly what we want to see boys it's exactly what we want to see <laughs> such a blast driving this car home. Oh my God, does it pull hard. I can't wait to try this thing out on the track. Obviously, I still have quite a few things I need to get done before we take this thing down to Florida and absolutely gap the heck out of Caleb, aka Gingium. I still gotta finish the weight reduction video. I, I still have to relocate my battery to the engine bay, even though I already relocated it to the trunk. I'm putting it back in the engine bay for safety reasons. We'll go over that, probably be in the weight reduction video. And I still have quite a few things on my whiteboard list at the garage, but today, has been an awesome day for the EG. It's only three o'clock. It still is daylight. I just, I live in this, I live in a basement. So it's like constantly dark down here. I'm getting ready to head back over to the garage. I just edited the entire video. This, this entire video that you're watching right now, I just edited it all in one sitting. And that was fun. I haven't done that in a while. So like I said, the Acuity Shifter video is gonna be live next on my channel. It's live for members right now. And before I go, I want to leave you guys with another challenge of the day. Last video's challenge was don't snooze your alarm tomorrow today's challenge is going to be to play with your pet if you have a dog if you have a cat if you have a turtle or even a fish play with your pet i have a dog his name's taz he's a 125 pound german shepherd and he's such a sweetheart and i constantly find myself working and i'm so focused on the goals i'm trying to achieve that i oftentimes forget to spend some quality time with him I took him over to the garage with me the other night. We had a great time together. He loves going for car rides and he loves playing ball. I'm sure that your pets love playing with you guys. I'm sure they love spending time with you guys. And that is today's challenge. So if you're watching this video right now, if it's, if it's nighttime and you're about to go to bed, then tomorrow you have to play with your pet, spend some time with them, do something fun, take them for a car ride, do something extra with your pet. If you're watching this and it's morning or midday, do it today, get it done. If you saw this video, no excuses. That's today's challenge. 
And the last thing that I want to tell you guys, and this is kind of a big deal for me, uh, this is actually a really big deal for me, for the last like four years, three or four years, I have been saying, I, I stand by this uh, framework called plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals. I've been standing by this framework for years, and, and that's what it is, it's a framework. I've been using it as my outro, it's kind of my thing. I wear the hat with PCEA on it every single day, and it's true, it's just, it's it's what I try to use as, as my outline for life. But PCEA is a framework, and I have that ingrained in me now, and hopefully you guys have that ingrained in you by now. As I'm growing and learning more, I'm changing and developing, as we all should be. And change is, what's the quote? Hang on, change is, is it change is the father of progress? What is it? Only constant, no, father of progress, is that it? Something like that. It's something like that. It's like change is the father of progress or something. You guys know what I'm saying. Basically, in order to make any progress doing anything, you gotta change, you gotta adapt, you gotta grow. Something I've learned over the years doing YouTube is that nothing is owed to you. Everything that we get, we have to earn. If you wake up in the morning and you lay in your bed all day and then go to sleep, you had zero chance of earning anything. You had zero chance of anything in your life changing. I mean, unless, you know, obviously if like, you know, some crazy outrageous, like tiny probability event occurred that you became a millionaire while laying in your bed all day, like cool, good for you. But honestly, like 99.9% .9 of the time, everything we achieve, everything we do is earned. So with that said, guys, plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals will always be the framework. It's always gonna be what I'm following, but my new shtick, my new motto that I'm trying to apply to my own life at all times, I go to the gym every morning now, getting up early, busting my ass, trying to make myself healthier, stronger, and making as many videos as possible. I'm sure you guys are seeing so many more uploads, and that's something that I'm extremely proud of, but everything is earned. So with that said, we deserve nothing, earn everything. Goodbye.